So while trying to take it off, the LCD broke. This is how it looks without the meter. This is what happens when you park your bike for a long time in heat and rain. So when I turn it on, you see this part of the LCD is faded. I can't see the speed, cannot see the kilometers, even the fuel is a bit faded out. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of VBuild. So this happened and we got a new video. So there are two options to fix this. Either I change this whole meter, which is quite expensive. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to change this LCD only. Take out the meter, you need to take off the whole side cover. The meter is bolted in right there. Let me focus a bit. Right there, you see that that bolt. So for that, I need to take this off, then this whole unit off. So for which I have to take the right side as well. And finally, it is out. So right there is the meter connection, so you just have to press this lock uh, right there and pull it out, so I need my other hand. <laughs> just like that, out. Now this is the whole trim and this is the meter, so if you see it is connected by these screws, so I'll just take them off quickly. out it comes so we have the meter now we can go and fix it now with the meter out let's see if the bike can start without the meter i turn it on oh yeah the fuel pump sound is there na, 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 na. the bike should be neutral neutral and let's do it whoa it does actually start nice huh the bike is all torn apart <laughs> Okay, let's close it up and take that meter to fix it. I'm going very slowly because all the nuts and bolts are loose. I don't want them to fall. <laughs> let's pack it. Here is the new LCD screen. Okay, I hope it fits because uh, it said it's for Ninja 300, but looking at the shape of it, it seems like it would fit. So I just ordered it, taking a small risk. Ah, here. What kind of screws do you have? This is the warranty thing. And my bike is long out of warranty, so I don't <coughs> need this to... Oh wow, easy. <coughs> and... Looks like it is gonna fit. So seems like this is completely separate. Only thing joining this chip to this uh, meter is these two points here, which are soldered, the, all of these. So if I guess I remove this, then I should be able to take it off. Let's do that. Yeah, so let me show you how to do it. To begin, <coughs> heat up the soldering iron, press this. This is what we use to remove the soldering metal. So create the suction and then melt the solder and just like that you see it pulled out all the solder one more time and that's <clears throat> that's it this one is free now i do with this so show you in time lapse and i'm gonna remove all of this
now if you see almost all the pins are out of their i mean there's no more solder so they are not stuck these and these and here is all the solder that came out of it so now i'll try to remove it slowly and carefully so while trying to take it off the lcd broke and luckily that's the part we are replacing so no big deal and now we can just take it out uh, seems like we don't have to take the whole thing apart so i can just remove this oh nice just like that it came off awesome man so happy i actually didn't have to remove this also but yeah i did so now i need to fix that too let's put it back And next goes the new LCD. Here it is. The shape of it is nice because it there's no way you can put it upside down or something. So you can just put it on like this and make sure all the pins go in. Need to be careful. I cannot put pressure on it because the pins are very delicate. So there goes one I have to adjust the pins a bit inwards because da, 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 like that right, come on come on ah finally there you go so if you see all the pins are out from here and here as well I just need to solder them now Just like that, I have soldered a few. Show you, rest I'll do in, in time lapse. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, solder all of these. That's it, uh, soldering is done. The screen is on. It's, it was just a little bit oversized since this is not the original thing. So I have to melt it a bit, but yeah, it works. <clears throat> now put it back together out with the old in with the new let's go And here it is done, good as new. Now let's just put it back on the bike. Ta-da! Putting it back on just like we took it out. And the screws. First this plug goes in. And the cap. Check this out, the plug is installed and the cover is placed over there. Now these hooks are supposed to have these wires and these are used for hanging those wires so I'll just put them on, install it and test it. Let's give it a quick test. Where are the keys man? Oopsie! There. yay everything works so i can see the fuel properly speed and the kilometers the odometer everything is there ha ah, so relieved man i saved 4000 rupees <laughs> let's just close it up front and then the left and we are done.
everything packed up and working absolutely fine i just need to check the rpm so let's turn it on and the rpm also works fine cool awesome and the time i will set it but that's about it If you like this video, please consider subscribing.